There's another wood piece down here I wanted to try to take a look at. Oh, I think it's like a like a name, like a family name. Barker. Sure is. That's neat though. Um, I mean, if your last name's Barker, come on down. <laughs> uh, you get it? Uh, Barker, come on down. Okay, all right. I'll keep my day job. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Rami's Retro. Uh, I cannot get a smile off of my face. I hit a thousand subscribers today. I'm actually at like a thousand and four as we speak, and it is very, very exciting. And it's all because of all of you. So thank you so very much <clears throat> for everything. Um, we're going to head into Scottsdale Goodwill tonight and see if we can find any fun stuff. Uh, we haven't filmed here for a while, but I have been here a couple of times and it's been a little underwhelming. So let's see if today brings us some very good luck because obviously um, we've had some good luck lately. So let's see what we got. Well, as soon as I walked in, um, they were stocking a couple of carts. So it was a little crazy. I waited for it to slow down. Um, I did, however, quickly grab these fantastic Mikasa plates. Um, there's four of them for $6.49. They're Ben Siebel, so um, I've got a different pattern. Um, I don't have this Dahlia pattern. I have a different one that I use at home, um, but they're very collectible. One plate can go for about 17 bucks, and I've got four of them, so that's a sweet deal. And then I also found this guy um, in the cart. Um, in the fresh cart. So I grabbed him for $4.49, really pretty um, Talavera piece. So we're gonna grab that for sure. Um, and then let's see what else we got here. I'm not sure what they just stocked um, because I just missed them, but we'll see what is here. Those are definitely pretty, but there's no mark or anything on them. So <clears throat> I don't think that they're anything s too special. This looks pretty special, yeah. though. Ooh, what's that? Three forty-nine. How broken is this? This is really pretty. Oh, I kind of like that mirror too for five forty-nine. I might grab that too. Let's see if there's any breaks on this. It's really dirty. It definitely needs a good cleaning. But it looks like all the parts are there. So I think for $3.49, that is a super duper pickup. We will grab that. And then let's go back to this mirror because that's actually kind of cool too. It's metal. Hi, everybody. $5.49. Uh, I think we can get some dollars for that. We're going to pick that mirror up. Too. I think I can get a few dollars for this little jester too. He's got all his parts. Um, he looks like he's in pretty decent shape. I was able to peel back the label a little bit here and it says he was handmade in Italy. So for $3.49, I'm gonna pick him up. Okay, we got some tiles here. I don't think that they're too old though. And they're kind of plain. Well, let's see what this little plate is for $1.49. It sure is pretty. Um, Copeland Buttercup, $1.49. Just for a single plate, I'm not so sure about that, but maybe I'll look it up. Looks like there's some Johnson Brothers under here too. Yep, $2.99. Now it's uh, $1.49. It's actually not bad on that, $1.49. Huh. Uh, I don't know. I might pick that up. Let's put it in the cart. These little guys are cute for $1.49. Mother's Day 1981. Oh, there's a fan. How did I miss that? That's pretty. Um, I love fans. Um, they're very essential here in uh, Arizona. This one's $4.49. <clears throat> what do we got here? It looks like some little Greek, or not Greek, um, Egyptian plates. Oh, wow, $4.49 on those too, huh? I like these almost really for me. $4.49 each. They're really pretty though. I'm going to throw them in the cart. I deserve something. I just hit 1,000 subscribers today. I deserve to treat myself to something too. What's behind these dolls? Oh, monkeys. Well, no, just a monkey. Okay, well, a monkey bookend isn't going to do much for us. And then what are these guys? Huh, interesting. Little decor pieces, I guess. Oh, maracas. I like maracas. $2.49 a piece on those guys. I think we're gonna pick those up too. Well, that buttercup plate looked, uh, it's actually from Spode, and it looks like a set of two of this size. 
uh, sold for 20 bucks. So I'm going to pick this up for $1.49. I'm sure, you know, they break and then people look for replacements and they're willing to pay up for them. So I'm going to pick that up. Spode is a very good maker of fine china. Looking in the glassware here, not seeing too much of anything. Um, we're gonna slide into mugs now. Oh, what are these little orange guys down here? They sure are cute. Those are neat. They don't have any maker's mark on them, but I really like them. $1.49. I think they probably processed these today. Um, so these were probably on that cart. Yeah, four twelve. dollars I don't know. Maybe we'll look those up and see if they, uh, see if they have any value. They've got a really neat design on them. You can see there's, it looks like they're riveted, but they're ceramic. They're not obviously metal, um, but I kind of like those. They're fun and funky. Well, it looks like those cups are from Metlocks. So there are eight of them in beautiful condition and I am going to grab them. And as I was putting them in the cart, somebody else that was shopping said, hey, there's a sugar and creamer over here. So I'm gonna go check those. All right, they do have the creamer here for $3.49 and the sugar bowl for $3.49, but it does not have a lid. I'm not sure that it was supposed to though. This looks like a pretty clean um, kind of rounded top there. So I think I'm going to pick those up as well. Um, and then I see something over yonder that is orange. I don't know if you can see that. We're gonna go check it out though. I think it goes with this. Oh, yep, they do have a couple more little pieces here. So that's actually the lid, I think, probably to, to the sugar bowl. So that's perfect, which then means that there's another extra cup. And then this piece is $4.49. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and throw him in the cart too. He looks like he's, a these little guys are pretty cute too. They're $2.49 for, the for a set of two. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick those up as well. So let's find a safe place for them in our cart that is uh, filling up quickly. Kind of exciting. Okay, let's check out vases and pottery and things. Oh, that looks kind of fun. What's that? Nothing. Cute, but nothing. <clears throat> and then we swing into candles and candle holders. That's pretty, 349. The paint's chipping on the bottom though. What's this guy back here? He's wood, 449. All right. Oh, oh, what is this? What have we found here? 549 for that guy. Signed Mexico. And 549 for that matching guy. Um, I think that's a pretty sweet deal. I will go ahead and grab those. Well, wood has kind of turned into a bit of a mess and it looks like some art and things got like mixed in here. Somebody did a bunch of like acrylic pours and, and stuff. I mean, they're cool. It's cool artwork. Um, but I don't, it doesn't really belong in wood. So that's kind of mix, mixing things up here, making a little bit of a mess. Uh, what do we have back here? It's got a little skunk on it. He's cute. Why be disagreeable when with a little more effort you could be a real stinker? <laughs> this is funny. I like that. Three forty nine. Ah, all right, all right, all right. There it goes in the cart. All right. What else do we have here? There's another wood piece down here I wanted to try to take a look at. Oh, I think it's like a like a name, like a family name. Barker. Sure is. That's neat, though. Um, I mean, if your last name's Barker, come on down. <laughs> uh, you get it? Uh, Barker, come on down. Okay, all right. I'll keep my day job. All right, what's this? I want to know what this is. Uh, 349. It's definitely very interesting little ducky with apples. He's got quite the face on him. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and leave him for someone else. Leave him for someone who will truly love him for who he is. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to mess with that. I don't want to mess with that. Well, baggies, baggies, baggies. Let's see what we got. Kitchen stuff. Lots of kitchen things here. Looks like that's kind of fun, whatever. Oh, never mind. I thought it was a cover for something. It's a pizza cutter. Ah, baggies can be deceptive. Not really seeing anything here for us. Let's move on. 
I think I looked at these last time. Yeah, no, nothing there. And we got some more fruit here, a little paper mache vegetables and fruits. All right, well, shucks. What's this little cabbage head guy? What is this? Oh, nothing. It's like a little cabbage-shaped candle or something. Okay, well, nothing in baggies then. Well, I looked up, and over there on the top shelf was this cute little sweetheart. And I think that for $2.49, we're going to pick it up. I've got quite a few planters right now, but they do really well, and they're so cute. They make such a fun gift, so I'm going to grab that for two. dollars And I really didn't finish looking through mugs because I got so excited with those orange ones. So let's see what else we got. This is really pretty. Is that damage? No. Um, definitely a studio piece, $1.49. I really love the colors and the glaze and everything on it. I wish there was more than one. But for $1.49, I think I'll grab that. Anybody else? It doesn't look like there's anything down on that shelf. And it doesn't look like there's anything really on this shelf. So I guess we're going to probably head out of here. Because uh, that's it. We've seen everything. Oh, well, you know what? Maybe art. We'll check out art really fast. Some pretty things in art, but I don't think anything that we're going to pick up today. Oh, uh, it's the puzzle back there. I like this heart. What's this? Is it a heart? Yeah, it's a heart. That's kind of cool. And what's hidden back here? Oh, those are very big and interesting. Fourteen forty-nine. Um, I think we'll pass on those, though. And then this is big, gigantic art. We can't take anything like that home. To be honest, I don't think it'd fit in my car right now. I've got a bunch of packing supplies in my car that I've been too lazy to take out. Um, so I need to do that. Well, looks like uh, this is it. So we're gonna head on up to the front. Short trip today, maybe we'll go somewhere else. I don't know, we'll see. I'm glad I took another spin through the figurines because this little guy is so cute and he's only $3.49, sorry, $4.49. He's probably worth, I don't know, about 16, 20 bucks. So we're gonna grab him. Well, uh, we made a little trip um, to Center and McKellips in Nasa uh, to a Goodwill. I have not been to this Goodwill before. So this is going to be a fun little uh, additional adventure. I think our total spend at the last Goodwill was about $70. Um, so not bad. I'm really excited about all those beautiful orange pottery pieces. And we got some fun stuff. So let's see if we can have a repeat in this store. Let's go. Okay, well, let's see what we got. I am already seeing some figurines that I think are interesting. These little guys are very cute. $249. Um, they don't have any stickers or anything on them. He doesn't have a price, but he'd probably be two forty nine too. I mean, clearly he goes with this little girl. She's missing a flower petal though, so I guess we'll have to leave her behind. Two forty nine on these little guys. This is a sweet little um, covered jar, like a sugar dish probably. Seven forty nine on that. Made in China. Oh, she's cute back here. What's this? I don't know. I cannot read it. It says hand painted. She's missing her fingers though. $6.49. Oh wow, the pricing is interesting here. Now here's a little bell from, uh, from um, Beauty and the Beast. It's an interesting little bottle with a dolphin on it. Oh, looks like this got busted. That's too bad. Here's his little friend. Um, that's actually really cool. I like that a lot. Three forty-nine. I wish there was a pair of them, um, but I think that I'm definitely going to get her and save her so that she doesn't break. We'll make that our first pickup. Let's put her in here very, very carefully. Okay, there we go. There's a piece of onyx that looks like Jesus. Two forty-nine. An onyx Jesus for two forty-nine. Ooh, that's very tempting. He's not broken or anything. He's got his nose and everything. All right, maybe we'll pick that up too. Okay, okay. Oh dear, my cart's... Okay, what do we got here? I like this tile. 
349 looks hand painted you can hang it up on the wall um, the woods a little dry uh, I don't know we've got some tiles right now I'm a little apprehensive what's that that's pretty signed 749 it's a studio piece I really like that I know we've got a lot of things like this too, don't we? But I don't know, 749 or 349? I think I'm gonna go with the 749. I really like that. I think it's a sellable piece of original art. Uh, what other little plates do we have in here? No. Well, that's a church. There's a little flamingo. Who makes that? Is that Fitz and Floyd? Omnibus, maybe? I think so, 1987. Oh no, it says Lotus, made in China. 349, he's chipped though on his little foot. It's a bummer, otherwise that was pretty cute. All right, nothing else in plates. Oh, I like this though, how much is that? 449, oh wow. They aren't usually that expensive. Um, but I've got a pretty decent collection of crucifix, so I think I'll go ahead and pick that up anyway. Um, for me. This is interesting. I want to see what this is. That's 749 as well. We saw some lemons the other day that were very similar in glaze and everything to this. This is a Mexican piece. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any damage or anything. It's very interesting. 749. Should I grab that? Let's throw it in the cart. We'll think about As I was throwing that in the cart, I saw this fantastical little piece. It doesn't look like there's any damage on it, which is incredible. Um, all the little delicate little pieces are there. It's got a tiny little chip here on the end, but not too bad. $5.49. It's like a little wall pocket. Never seen anything like it. I totally love it. I'm going to grab this. And throw that in the cart. There's a glass pumpkin here, but he's not old. A oh, little metal top. And what do we have on this shelf? That's very sweet, very delicate, 349. There's a little bird box. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Is his tail busted? No, actually. I don't think it is. Oh, his tail's busted though. That's too bad. A dollar forty-nine. Shucks. This is quite the interesting piece. Some of these petals are missing though. Well, it's a sweet little box with a hummingbird on it. That's $3.49. Well, lots of lighthouses here. Somebody gave up their lighthouse box collection, I guess. Kind of like this little hand. Oh, he's busted. He broke. His finger broke off. And these little figures back here are interesting too. Twelve forty-nine each, though. Looks like they might be. Um, I don't know what they are. I thought for a second they might have been bottles, but I guess not. They're just little little figures. There's two of them. But yeah, we can't grab those for twelve bucks. That's that's not gonna that's not gonna work for us. All right, well, let's swing around the corner. We still have lots to see. All right, well, I found this guy. He's 449 studio piece. Very, very unusual. It's very cool. It does have a signature on it. And it's not glazed on the back, so I feel like it's supposed to kind of, you know, hang on the wall, I guess, is like a, another sort of a wall pocket. Um, for 449 though, I think I'm going to go ahead and grab that. You know me and my studio pottery. Sorry, pull. And then it uh, doesn't look like there's really anything for us in candles. Oh, there is something back there I want to take a quick look at. Hold on, let me throw this in the cart. Uh, this part of the cart um, does not work. It's not attached, so <laughs> learn that the hard way. So I can't just put things in that top part like I usually do. Oh, this is super totally broken. Well, that's too bad. That sucks because it's kind of cool. I don't particularly love the candle in it, but that can be taken out. All right, we're gonna slide over into glass here, see if there's any good stuff. These are pretty much just basic vases, basic vases, basic vases, nothing fabulous here. 
Um, let's swing around this way um, because we've got glassware. See if there's anything fabulous here. We've got all kinds of little shot glasses in here. But nothing too crazy and fun and interesting. Sting something? I don't know. Can't even read some of these. I have my glasses. Maybe I should put them on. All right. Nope, don't see anything fun or old. Nothing too interesting on this shelf. Ooh, what's this? It's a little bunny rabbit running with grass underneath him. $1.49. It'd be nice if there was a set of those. I do like that. Um, I think it's Kur Kurok. Um, I wonder if $1.49 would be worth picking up just the one um, because they do break. I know that from experience. What are these? These are pretty. A-D something. They're like little T for T. There's four of them. I do like those. They're very pretty. Maybe I should look those up. There are these glasses back here. Um, 1910 Cadillac by Libby. They're $3.49 each, but I think purple tags are $2 today. So I could get four of those. Two, four, six, eight bucks. I think those are in really good condition and they're kind of neat. I don't know. They're fun. I like them. I'm going to grab those for sure. Okay, so I pulled this out from the back. And at first I thought it was just horses, but it's not horses, it's unicorns. And then you turn it to this side and it's a unicorn fighting with like a lion-headed griffin thing. It's crazy. It's 749 and it's not marked or anything and it's not chipped or anything. And I think I need to get it. It's crazy. All right, well, we're in art. I kind of like that. Um, bird painting. It's really, really big, though. There's some other uh, fun little things here. There's this needlepoint, um, or cross stitch, I guess it is. It's kind of cool. But we've got a few of those right now. Lots of religious stuff. There's Mary. There's another religious one down there. There's one over here I saw. Um, but nothing for us. And then a lot of pours again. A lot of like acrylic pour stuff. That's what makes me think like sometimes there's a central hub for Goodwill and all kinds of stuff just gets dumped there. Um, and then they ship it out to the different Goodwills. That's really pretty um, needlepoint, but it's very, very stained. Something bad happened and it's all discolored in there. So it's kind of gross. We'll have to pass on that. All right, well, we've had some amazing luck in cups and plates and things. Let's see what we've got here in bowls and teacups. Oh, this is pretty. What's that? The little flowers on it. I think it's for a state. I can't tell what state, though. Ohio, maybe? Three forty-nine. At least they've got them together at this Goodwill. That's nice. Selling them as a set is a smart idea. It's an older little bowl. Happy Valentine's. Cute. It's like for a little Sunday or something. You could give your sweetheart a Sunday in another special Valentine bowl. It's cute. I like the little per uh, blue flowers. It's got a crack in it, though. I'll we'll keep rolling down the road here. Okay, well, not seeing anything. Wow, these are really heavy. Signature housewares. Ooh, ooh, that is unpleasant. Sorry you guys had to deal with that. That's not fun. That's fun though, what's that? 349. Hmm, okay, and then we're in kind of china plates here instead of the decorative plates. There's little birds on this, that's pretty. 349. Oh my goodness, it's Cracker Barrel. Um, must have been either before my time or since my time. It doesn't say. It's by Susan Wingett. I like it. 
$3.49, huh? I've got quite a few of the, these pieces, but they're not marked or anything, and I don't know, we just bought a bunch of little stuff like that. Let's let those sell first. These are pretty. $9.49. Nortaki. I like those, but we definitely don't need them. Oh, and there's some serving plates back here. Sometimes the serving platters do better than plate plates. We might have to look them up. That's the trouble we got into the last time. And then we wound up leaving with a bunch of plates. Ah, damn it. Well, let's see what kind of fun stuff we've got here, though. I kind of like that picture. $4.49 on him. $9.49 on him. My goodness. He's chipped. I can feel it. So he's definitely not worth 10 bucks chipped. This is cute, but it's missing the little handle there on the side. This is cute, but... Well, maybe no but. It's a studio piece, handmade, hand glazed, no chips, $1.49. Very pretty. I like that. We're going to gently lay him in the cart. This is an Indiana glass pitcher. Um, oh, it's chipped, though, on the inside right there. Wow. I wouldn't have seen that if I hadn't hit it at just the right angle. Um, $3.49. It's, the creamer and pitcher together is probably worth about... I don't know, 10, 15 bucks. So 9.49 on this. It's the same as the little uh, pitcher that's up there. I don't know what that says. Maybe I should put my glasses on and find out if this is actually worth picking up for 9.49. I mean, it is very pretty and it's in decent shape. There's no breaks or anything. I don't know. Let's let's. Well, they are Homer Laughlin, um, American Beauty. It says. Um, I couldn't find any exactly like either one of them. I'm going to leave them in the front, though, so people can see them. We are going to pass on them, however. I am not, um, I'm not going to bring those home and try, try to sell those. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything else here that's too fun and exciting, so, uh, let's see if we can find out what's going on in wood. We haven't seen wood yet. Well, as soon as I switched off, I looked down... And I saw this, it was upside down, but I recognized the uh, Noritake label, Clear Day, it goes with those other plates we were looking at, but this is special. This is very rare. This is a fondue pot, like warmer, um, or if you just want to put a pot or a dish or something on there to keep it warm, and it's three forty nine, dollars probably because they didn't know what it was. Um, and these are very hard to come by. So that, that, I'm going to pick up. That is probably worth... I don't know, maybe 50 bucks. So that's a sweet, that's a sweet. Now I would love to find the fondue pot that goes with it. That would be incredible. Four forty nine on this. It looks like Jeanette glass. It's got a handle on one side, but not the other side. That's kind of interesting. I think I need to look that up. It's like a little divided dish. Um, let's put it in the cart gently and we will look that up. Ooh, and I see a chop tray. What's this? This is becoming a very fun, very lucrative trip. $3.49. Absolutely all day I will pick that up for $3.49. So let's put that very gently into the cart somehow. There we go. All right, what else do we have? Oh, cute little apple trays. Very angry baby in here. Four forty nine on that guy. What's this? No mark. Oh my goodness! So mad. So mad. Those are cute little snack trays, actually, too, for three forty nine with the matching little cups. Those are actually really adorable. I've got those fish ones. I still haven't listed, but three forty nine each for those is kind of a sweet deal. I wonder. I don't know. I wonder how much they're worth. Here's a cup to go with our Noritake. I've only seen one cup. Oh my god, you guys. Seriously, if I find the fondue pot, that'll be so incredible. Okay, update. I'm going to put this guy back. I found one similar to it that sold for about six bucks. I couldn't find any exactly like this sold. 
Um, so I think I'm going to leave that for somebody else who will love it because I did it. I looked these up and they are vintage Hazel Atlas and I didn't notice it first um, until I actually like pulled one out and looked at it. Um, but they are little trays that have, oh my goodness, this tape, um, an ashtray. <laughs> So it's the snack tray for your little sandwich or whatever, your little drink, your coffee or your tea, and that awesome round handle that's really cool. And then you've got a little ashtray for your cigarette. Um, made in the 40s, early 50s, $3.49 a piece. Uh, there's 12 of them. I'm going to grab them all. Um, I think those are a sweet score. So I think we should probably leave. <laughs> well, I turned the corner and then there was this. So same set, Noritake set, but again, with these rare pieces, sometimes maybe the plates aren't super crazy popular, but this is something that's very hard to find. Um, so I'm gonna grab this for sure um, for $4.49, the souffle dish. And uh, what else do we have here? Oh, it looks like there's this piece as well, but it's very well used. So this I'm gonna go ahead and leave behind, even though it's $2.49, I don't think I wanna mess with that. There's a fondue pot back there on the other side. Let's try to check that out. It's not the fondue pot we were looking for, but it is very cool and very 70s. Um, $4.49 though, without all the rest of the pieces. I'm not going to go ahead and mess with that. Um, I don't see anything else here in bakeware and stuff. Ooh, it's a nice glass piece. What's that? $4.49? I don't know. Could that be Blanco? That's really awesome. It's like a candle holder. I mean, that's what I would think it is. It's a beautiful piece of glass. Um, I think we need to grab this. Absolutely. For $4.49, we're going to take that, whether it's Blanco or not. Although, we will look it up for sure. Uh, I don't see anything else here, though. Some cute little figures. They're just plastic, $3.49. They're kind of neat. Luis Gonzalez. <gasps> Do you think he's actually really in here? I could get this for Garrett. It was his birthday and I didn't get him anything. I'm such a terrible friend. Um, let's open this up and see if he's actually in there. He is in fact in there. And he's got his fingers and his little hat. And this little piece um, came undone, but I can totally glue that. It's not broken, it's just undone. I'm going to grab this. It's from 2010. That's awesome. Even I know who Luis Gonzalez is. This is really... All right, well, I promised to spin through wood, although at first glance, it doesn't look like there's too very much here. Um, although, I will say that, um, especially by the looks of our cart, this is the best Goodwill we've been to in quite some time. So I have had so much fun today, and I hope that y'all have too. It's an interesting little box. Um... Great time, for sure. Great time. But yes, wood is underwhelming today. No fantastical stuff for us in wood. Peaches. It's hand-painted, 1976. It's cute for in the kitchen. I think that we should probably head to the front. Um, I'm going to swing by one more aisle really quick, and then we're going to get... You know, it's funny. Like, after you mention it, then you really start seeing things. Like, here's a bag, three forty nine dollars of paper mache fruit and vegetables, and another one. This one's practically exactly the same as we just saw at the other Goodwill, three forty nine, dollars and then this one's three forty nine. dollars I don't know. Then I think to myself, am I making a huge mistake not grabbing these? Is this something people love, paper mache fruit? Should I be grabbing lots of paper mache fruit? I just don't know. I have this same exact shelf in my uh, front bathroom, in my hall bathroom, and uh, it's painted to match my bathroom. This one's in horrible shape. Um, it needs a very serious paint job, but for $3.49, I think I'll buy that for myself as a little pro. I don't know if this is the one that fits on here or that like should go on here, but it does fit. 
and it's in decent shape. And the blue matches the blue in the flowers. Should I grab this and sell it as a set for $4.49? I mean, then you've got your whole fondue pot. You just need the little forks. And I actually think I've got some forks because I thought that they were nut picks and they're not, they're fondue forks. I could sell it as an entire set. I think I'm gonna go for it. Oh my God, I'm sinking so far down into the rabbit hole, you guys. I went back through the aisles really quick. Here's a sugar bowl uh, for $2.49 that goes with that Noritake. So I'm going to grab it um, because I, I love it. And then this um, goes with those little uh, teacups that I got, but it doesn't have a lid. Do I buy it anyway, even though it doesn't have a lid for $3.49? And then do I go searching for the lid? That's the other question. And then it looks like there's this cute little bowl Noritake, that's a dollar forty-nine. So I kind of want to get that too, since it's only a dollar forty-nine. Um, but I don't see a creamer for the Noritake, which what a bummer that they have the sugar bowl and not a creamer. Am I just missing it? Well, that's really awesome. What's that? Oh, it's not old, but it's cool. It looks old. All right. Well, I better give up. I better get out of here. Oh my God, what is this? And how did I not notice it before? How fun is that? What is that? It's 6.49, it's got an awesome handle. That's really cool, I feel like I almost need to. This cart's been sitting here since I got here and I've been eyeing these. They're $1.49 a piece, bone china, candle holders. I gotta get them. I mean, clearly that cart doesn't belong to anyone, so they're going in my cart. All right, well, I wanted to take a quick spin through furniture just to check it out since we haven't been here before and see, you know, if there was any fun stuff or whatever. Oh my God. <laughs> this looks Norwegian or Swedish and it's leather and it's totally 60s, 70s. It's $6.79. It doesn't have anything on it. It's in really good shape. It does have something on it. What does it say? Ugh. Oh, wow. Ekranus, made in Norway. Um, I'm gonna grab this. I think, I mean, I don't know a lot about furniture, but I think this probably just paid for our entire trip all day today. Um, if I had to guess, I'd say that this is probably worth maybe $200. Um, and if I had the chair that went with it, that would be like probably seven or $800. Do they have the chair here? Don't tell me they have the chair here. I don't even know how I'm going to get this in my car. Oh my God. I'm so excited right now. That's crazy. I've never found anything that cool in furniture, at least not for years ages it does not look like they have the chair just the really cool ottoman that's all right i will take the really cool ottoman we need to get the hell out of here oh wow all right that was an adventure um it was not easy getting it all in the car because like i said i have all this stuff back here like packing supplies and things that i got from work and um so the back seat's pretty much full i was able to get my beautiful chair back there though can you see it um, so excited for that. That is, that's an awesome find, you guys. I don't know a lot about furniture, but when I saw that, I immediately knew it was something, and it was. So, really, really excited. Um, we got so many fun, amazing, wonderful things. Those snack plates, I think, are going to be terrific. I did wind up finding another of those Bunny Rabbit Kurok, um, low ball glasses. So, I've got a pair of two. So, that is awesome. Those are totally going to sell for great money. Um, lots and lots of fun things. And I did get it all in the car. I mean, it wasn't easy. It's all in the seat here behind me and next to me and, <laughs> and everything, but it's here. So let's head home. This uh, Goodwill is on the rotation. McKellips and Center, remember that. We will be back for sure. Um, thank you all for everything. I love you all so very much. I'm glad that you are on this journey with me. Um, it is because of you that I hit a thousand subscribers today. Um, so many of you rooting for me, it means a lot. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. 
um, because yeah, I want to keep growing this channel and growing my business. Um, I'm doing what I love. This is fantastic. So until next time, be safe out there. Whew, I'm short of, short of breath here. This is a lot of work. This was fun. I'll see you later, guys. Bye.